the Vivo in Tipo poster, it was a poster that I made for an exhibition I had in a gallery in Paris. First of all, I was f looking for an interesting title and I wanted to, to, to find a title where you have a, a rhythm into it. And I thought to call it Tipo in Vitro. And then I say, well, because you know, it's like creating typography in vitro. And with a friend of mine, she said, no, you should really bring the title upside down and start with vivre, which means life in typo, vivo in typo. I started on Illustrator to type, yeah, only uh, punctuation element to group them. And when you put them all together, and when you use the spacing letter or the leading, you can create a, a very interesting pattern. It's like weaving in some way. And I, I really like the fact that suddenly it becomes an interesting texture. I'm always starting in black and white. All the work starts in black and white. The color comes at the, at the end. It's because I remembered my school and we did everything with ink and everything was in black and white. And I remember the section for textile. I've seen all those students, they were painting directly with colors. And, and I thought it was fabulous because they had an approach which was closer to painter. Silk screen for me is the, the, the best technique to print poster. I cannot, I'm always frustrated when I see that I, can, I don't have the opportunity to print a poster and silk screen that I have to go through offset on non-digital printing. I don't find it uh, good enough for what I like. The fact that it's really opaque and it looks like almost like velvet, it's soft, you know. I like the, 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 that kind of ink very much.